Panzer is presented as one of the best system in the world, with a wide range of capability with two different weapon systems. Claiming to stop drones, airplanes, helicopter, cruise missile and ballistic missiles, with a cheap system costing less than 15 million, is this the best surface to air missile system for the money? Looking at its track record in Syria and now Ukraine, holes in its capability starts to show. As Ukraine used Bayraktar drones in the beginning of the war with great success, and later HIMARS shooting GMLRS rocket with low interception rate. Ukraine has managed to destroy hundreds of targets with GMLRS rocket and hit bridges with over hundreds of rockets. So why does it seem on paper this almost godlike system can't stop GMLRS rocket? Looking over Panzer as a system, weak points are starting to emerge. Panzer has several versions as S1, S1M, S2 and SM, with others specific to the environment. But given an average capability of these, the system is operational with two kinds of radar, one searching radar and one engagement radar. The searching radar has a range of 50 to 70 km and the targeting radar has a range of 20 to 30 km. This is however for bigger target such as 4th generation airplanes. With stealthy or small target, this distance can be more than half. The Panzer have two armament, the main being 1257E6 missile or the upgraded version of these. The missile is a two-stage solid fuel rocket, quickly accelerating in one and a half second to Mach 3.8, but also quickly losing speed during its flight. The 57E6 has a range of around 20 km and uses high explosive warhead with blast fragmentation. It has however no seeker of its own to save money, but rely on the radar from the system to send radio wave to steer it. This lowers the accuracy of the missile and limits the number of targets that can be simultaneously engaged to 4, while tracing capability is higher. The other weapon system is a dual 2S38M 30mm autocannon with a 2500 round per minute fire rate on each gun. Its maximum range is 4 km, but effective range is between 1 and 2 km, and less with faster moving target. The stated kill probability for the missile lays around 70 to 85 percent, prompting two missiles to be fired on each incoming target to lower penetration rate. However, several logical flaws as well as practical problems occur with the system. By only being able to steer four of its own missile at the same time and needing to shoot two missiles at each incoming target, the system can easily be overwhelmed with targets making a swarm attack an easy tactic to ensure penetration. Also needing to shoot two missiles on each incoming target makes so a pod of GMLRS rocket would need all of Panzer's missile to be fired. But while some reports on the system's radar having problems detect slow, small flying objects such as drone, which became apparent again in Ukraine, these slower moving target seems to be what the Panzer is most effective against when being able to detect. Being able to engage with smaller drones at around 2 km with its autocannon and with its missile being viable to engage with drones, cruise missile, helicopter or airplane if personnel are ready and trained or if autopilot works as intended. As the biggest drawback is reaction time, Panzer can be set on autopilot but has been seen to have some problem in operation. However, the biggest problem for the system occurs with the objects going a bit faster than Mach 1. While claiming to be able to engage with up to Mach 3, the effectiveness seems to drastically get lower with increased speed of incoming targets. Firstly is reaction time, where the detection range of less than 20 km, which is realistic with smaller objects such as GMLRS rocket, only leaves around 30 seconds before impact going around Mach 2. As the interception missile need time to reach the incoming target, Reaction time is even narrower. Panzer is claimed to have a reaction time of 5 seconds, but this seems to be under ideal condition. The problem of auto-engagement 
could also be the misidentification and emptying of missile for valueless targets such as Grad Rocket being fired at similar speed and trajectories as GMLRS, while GMLRS could shoot in a variety of trajectories. The Panzer system appears to have problem engaging target with more horizontal trajectories, with higher speed and thicker skin, which lower effectiveness of the blast fragmentation and explosion angle of the 57E6 missile. So while the Panzer could be seen as a good short to medium range system in capability, against GMLRS missile it has problem in reaction time, identification, correct interception angle and where GMLRS can easily overwhelm one or a few system makes Panzer really ineffective, which can be seen again in Ukraine. That's all I had for this video. Please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.